a great man of God. For 40 years, he led those folks. They were hard-headed. They were stiff-necked. They had their own mind. Every now and then, there would be a rebel that would rise up. And he said, well, we're going back to Egypt. We're going back to Egypt. And one time, the ground opened up. I was like, okay, you want to go back? Then go back. The ground opened up, swallowed them all up. The ground closed back. And look like God said, now what? Anybody else want to, you know, want to go back? And I can imagine everybody just standing just as quiet. Not me. <laughs> Who is this man Moses, man? I mean, wow. But guess what? God showed his power, but Moses messed up, and he let somebody get to him. Listen now. You say, well, I did good all week, and then I blew it at the end. <laughs> I have found out that folks can gain the victory today and next week they keep talking about it and lose the victory. After a while they begin to think, you know, I shouldn't have been so nice. I was actually right. And mess around and lose the victory. And you already had it. Amen. You already were going forth. And the longer you tore that thing, the worse it gets. So you have to just let some things go. Thank you for the victory, Lord. Now I'm moving on. Amen. Get the victory and maintain it and keep it. Moses messed up, and he hit that rock and said, Drink, you rebels. He hit it twice. He wasn't supposed to do that. Amen. And the Bible says that God told Moses, Moses, you messed up one time. All right, so you cannot go into Canaan. All you can do is look at Canaan. But someone said, well, why did, was God so hard and so tough on Moses, and he only messed up one time? Well, you have to take it back. Moses was the only one I know that spent 40 days with God on a mountain. And when you spend 40 days with God on a mountain, you're going to get close to God. You should not let anybody and anything hinder you from that relationship. So God took him to a higher standard, so he held him to a higher standard. To much has been given, much is required. If you know about the word of God, uh, and you've heard the word of God, uh, and you saw, saw it demonstrated before you, then you are responsible for what God has given you. Everyone is not the same. So what God has given you as a young person, you have to be, and you are, accountable for that. 